Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. My name is Amy and I do tons of hair care videos ranging from ones like today where I talk about my favourite specific products within a category in hair care but I also do tons of hair tool testings, I do mask reviews, I do oil reviews, I do tons and tons of kind of reviews and testings and trying things out. If that sounds like your kind of video and you're watching this one I'd really appreciate if you headed over and subscribed to my channel, it would mean so so much and if you're wondering how I've curled my hair today I use the Cordina hair flower bun and I have done a review all about that but this is overnight curls that have used no heat and I actually love them um, and I just think that they just look super super glam but look like I put a lot of effort into my hair when it was super easy. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite three hair oils and why specifically I use each one because I've been using these tons and tons recently. And there always seems to be products that I'll first talk about on my channel and continue using for a really long time. And I think it's really important to then check in and let you know kind of what those products are, how I'm using them and the benefits to my hair. So if this sounds like a video that you're interested in watching, then please do keep on watching. But with that all said and done, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to be chatting through my three favourite hair oils because these are products that I use tons and tons in the background when I'm not filming videos and I find that I feel like I found specifically three that I use for different reasons that work really well for my hair and I thought this video would help anyone that's on the market looking for a hair oil but not sure kind of what you're looking for or what you needed to help with. So hopefully this video does help with that. So I'm going to start with what's in my third place and this is the Wella Oil Reflections Light Luminous Reflective Oil. So I did a first impressions video on this oil months ago at this point and from then I was amazed at how well it worked to calm my hair down, add shine and make it look super super glossy and just look super healthy. Like for me hair oils is something I never used to use and now I do. I always get compliments on how well my hair looks and how shiny it is and how healthy it is. And a hair oil is typically what I use to achieve that. As much as my hair has really kind of increased in health during my hair journey the oil is what kind of gives it the appearance day to day. So this one is what I use when I want super shiny glossy hair. So if I've done a hairstyle, whether that's curling it or straightening it, and I want it to look super shiny, I want it to look so healthy and bouncy and glossy, this is typically the oil I'll use after styling. I know it has other kind of benefits within this, but that's kind of not what I use it for. I use this purely for appearance of the way it makes my hair look because I feel like the shine from this really is unlike anything else. And it's like a straight up oil without making my hair look greasy. And it's magic. I think it works so well. And I think that if you have kind of dull lackluster hair that just doesn't have much oomph to it, then an oil like this will just make your hair look super shiny and glossy and just look so healthy. Like, I love using this after I style because it's just like, wow, it's so intense. It looks really, really lovely, but still kind of natural as well. It just looks like you've got the best type of hair. Um, and this one is super affordable as well. So I will have all of these products I talk about linked down below, but this one is the most affordable one I'm gonna be talking about today. And it's the one that I achieved the best shine with. If that's what you're looking for from a hair oil, definitely give this a try because you won't be disappointed. And it's something that I use all the time and I kind of have tons of hair oils where I could be a lot more picky, but this is one that I definitely choose to use. As well when I straighten my hair or I just want my hair to look calm without using heat, a hair oil like that really does just make such a difference when I run it through my hair and it just looks like just so much healthier and I don't have to style it to get a really sleek finished look. So that is definitely on my third place. Now next up comes my second place hair oil and this is one I've used tons and tons recently. Can you see, probably have to get a little bit closer there, but that's how much I've used. I have used this tons since I've moved house and I think that the reason being is that I have now got into the habit of using hair oil before I go to bed. So this is something I typically never used to do, but since I've done it, game changer. And I use the Kerastas one to do that. The reason being is that this is like a thicker serum based kind of gel formula. So it's not an oil. I think that this one is very kind of thin and very lightweight and you don't kind of feel it in your hair and it doesn't weigh your hair down, which is why it's perfect for styling. 
Whereas this one for me has that thickness that if I use this kind of daily, especially on curls like this, may weigh it down slightly because it is slightly thicker. However, the reason that I use this before bed is because my hair just hydrates itself overnight. So I'll apply this mainly to my ends, to be honest. I don't take it through my entire lengths. I'll probably do the last, like the last couple of inches of my hair, just focusing that on the ends of my hair, just so that it kind of just laps up a bit of moisture. The ends are what gets really dry very quickly. And I've noticed that I've had so little split ends since using this. And yeah, a couple of pumps of this, focusing it on just the ends of my hair, focusing this on just the ends of my hair, and then styling my hair for bed so that it doesn't kind of get damaged from kind of friction and everything I just found that this has worked so well and my hair in the morning feels super shiny because it's had that time to absorb the product so it doesn't feel kind of heavy because it's like a little bit of a mask for my hair for the ends and it kind of drinks it all up and then come the morning time it's just super soft without there being any kind of product residue left and I love it for that reason so for that this has become a product that I've probably used more than the first one I'm going to talk about however the first one is one that I use all the time in terms of like after a shower and on dry hair and everything so i'll talk about that one but this has definitely been one that i initially didn't think i'd use that much and then i realized why i love it and i've used it basically every single night since unless i've kind of forgotten um but yeah as you can see i'm definitely getting through it i'm pleased that this comes in the bigger bottle because using it every day you're going to typically get through it a lot quicker and i just find that using a hair oil before i go to bed just makes my hair super soft and has prevented further damage and because i don't get my hair cut tons and tons and i want it to grow a little bit more i do find that this is just such a brilliant combination so that's my second place hair oil and now coming to the top place I hope that this video is okay just being a little bit shorter and snappier but I think it's good to just run down my favorite style of products that fit within categories so if there's a category you'd like me to do next let me know I would love to do it and I think hair oils as well because they're a bigger product and tend to last you longer you can really find out what works best for you however without any anticipation kind of making you wait the first place is still the Olaplex number seven and I use this tons but it doesn't look like it this lasts forever it's magic so you're probably thinking if you're using the care assess one every night how are you using this and why is this better now this for me is that super lightweight formula this for me is my favorite formula across any hair oil that I've tried the reason being is that when you kind of rub it between your fingers it's almost undetectable it's so lightweight and I just find that it's super super easy to use in my hair I also use this every time I kind of shower or wash my hair I use it on wet hair I'll use it on dry hair and if I'm not styling my hair and wanting the intense shine, I use this more so. The reason being is because this, as per like the Olaplex brand, works on kind of bond restoring and works from the inside out and all of the products complement one another. So I somewhat recently finished the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, which lasted about nine months and this is going to last me years at this rate honestly and um, but I will use this with the leave-in conditioner I feel like I should do a video on the leave-in conditioner soon because again it's one of those products I use tons and tons but don't really give it any limelight and um, but this is also one that if my hair is feeling kind of dehydrated or I just need a bit more kind of love I will use this because it has all of that technology that helps repair the bonds and I know that this does more good than anything else I try everything else other than the Kerasas one for deep hydration everything else is more appearance wise whereas this one not only makes my hair look really good but it does good as well in terms of the inside of the bonds really really good for that I prefer the applicator of this as well as you don't have like a pump which I prefer because if you tip it like that nothing comes out but you tap that and you get the teeniest tiniest amount of oil and I just find that it's just the perfect amount for me and I think that's why I've used so much less of this because I need so much less and another thing as well which is definitely worth knowing I know we're kind of coming out of the summer now but if you live in a climate that's really hot or you need heat protection that is within this and I just love that for peace of mind I try to use products that have specific hair goals that I want to achieve without having to use 
a heat protection spray because I don't typically heat style my hair very often but if I'm going out and it's humid or it's just a sunny day or anything like that that can really dehydrate my hair from heat then I'll always try to have products that have heat protection kind of embedded within the formula and Olaplex does that so again really good for peace of mind and I think if you have any type of hair type this would work really really well for you I think the Weller one I think would work best on kind of finer hair this would work better on fine to medium density hair I think if you have thicker hair you're going to kind of struggle to calm your hair down in the same way that I do when I have not much hair it's just long but it's pretty kind of fine to medium in density and then I also think that the Kerastase one great for all hair types but if you have finer hair like mine you might notice that it is a bit too thick for everyday styling but if you have thicker hair this is going to be definitely one you want to check out because the formula of this is so it, it has a thickness and it is so hydrating that even the kind of frizziest curliest hair will benefit from the formula of this because it is definitely like a bit more weighty and it is you can just tell that it's got more in it i don't know how to explain that but it just feels like it's got a really good thickness to it and it will spread a very much evenly on your hair so this is one i would definitely recommend if you have more thicker hair but olaplex for me is one that works across all hair types and it's just a good one it's just really worth the money and yeah i've definitely found that balance in these three has helped me achieve my hair goals in different situations however i appreciate that having a number of hair oils is probably a bit obsessive for people that don't want to buy tons and tons especially when the kerastase and the olaplex one are kind of more expensive and i have a video where i specifically talk about the differences and similarities between the two of them if you're trying to decide which one is for me then i think that video will definitely help you um but yeah i hope that this video has helped you understand how i use the different hair oils i absolutely love hair oil it's one of those products that i just rely on so much more now and i never used to so i hope that this has helped you understand how i use them specifically and again if you have any questions or if there's any hair oil products that you'd like me to try next let me know i would absolutely love to try them i do have a list of like oils i want to try but also very conscious that I am one person and I can't use everything and hair oils are something that last forever and ever so yeah let me know kind of what you'd like to see next but those are my favorite hair oils that I have been loving at the moment and I just wanted to share them with you because I just find that they are products I use all the time and I just don't talk about them enough so yeah if there's any other kind of categories you'd like me to do next let me know but that's all from me in today's video I hope you've enjoyed it smash the thumbs up button if you have and I'll see you guys in my next video bye